Hi, welcome to Vocab Wednesdays, and I'm Chris with Magoosh. Today's category or theme is going to be compound words. What do I mean by that? Well, we have two words here, hood and, oh, this sounds a horrible wink, wink. Okay, well, I'll just have to work on my winking. The point here is we have two words, compound words, one word, and, well, uh, huh. A hood wink is a hood that winks at you, so today's theme is not just compound words, but compound words, and when you put them to get, together, form a word that, or whose definition is very unexpected, or at least somewhat. Imagine if someone is winking from, to you from underneath the hood. Is that somebody you, you would trust? Well, hopefully not. And somebody who is hood winking, he was trying to deceive you and trick you. So never trust someone who winks at you from underneath their hood. Next word we have is dovetail. Now, this one kind of fits into the category. I mean, obviously, dovetail. It's a tail of a dove. But this definition means to come together or fit together nicely and harmoniously. So, it's, the reason it's sort of the category is because if you look at a dove's tail, well, the feathers interlink nicely. And so, when we have this word dovetail used figuratively, something that dovetails, let's say, I made a point. Oh, I have another point to make, which dovetails or goes together with my last point. You can also have maybe an essay or a piece of writing where the paragraphs come together or dovetail nicely. So there's dovetail. Our next compound word is a fun one. It's a new Olympic event. It's the slapdash, where you slap yourself and run really fast. No, no, actually not. Something that's slapdash is, is an adjective. describes anything that is carelessly done. So something that doesn't really have much thought or preparation. So maybe if you're in a hurry, you're going to do something in a slapdash manner. So make sure you slow down so you don't do a careless job. Such as remembering these words. Maybe if you write them down in Quizlet or some other cool online flashcard place or site, you will be able to remember that. Next word, upstart, does not mean to begin moving up towards the ceiling. But an upstart actually describes a person who has recently gotten wealth or power. And now they are starting to act as though they're more important than they really are. So they start to act arrogantly. So that is the description of an upstart. Again, it's a compound word, two words. You would never think that, huh, an upstart is somebody who has recently gotten power and suddenly is kind of throwing their weight around. Finally, we have sinecure. Now, you may say, wait a second, Chris. You just said that these are compound words. What's the sign? And I, I know it's not S-I-G-N sign, but it's S-I-N-E, which is technically a word for trigonometry. In order to find angles, you have to use a sine or cosine, maybe you remember from trigonometry. So close enough to the category. And of course, we have cure. But sinecure is not a cure for, well, if you've been doing too much trigonometry. Rather, sinecure is any position, any job you hold. That's really easy. You get paid a lot for really not doing much of anything. And so oftentimes, people hope to have a sinecure as they get older, so they don't have to work much, but they still get paid. So it's kind of like a quasi-retirement. Then again, many people want a sinecure right now. They don't want to wait until they're 50 or 60, but they just kind of want to sit around, maybe surf the web, and still get paid. So sinecure, not a cure for geometry, but maybe for some a cure for their stressful lives. And that's it. I'm done with